I'm Dr. Gina Subraban, and I am the director of the Women in STEM Honors Program. And I'm delighted to offer um, a few awards here for Women in STEM, but also another award that I'm honored to present to you today. The first award is the Women in STEM Honors Leadership and Community Service Award. The Women in STEM Honors Program places great value on acquiring leadership qualities and on service to one's community. This year's Women in STEM Honors Leadership and Community Service Award goes to Ariana Wiggins Gamble. Ariana has proven herself to be a true leader both in the Bay Path uh, University community and beyond. Ariana serves as a resident assistant, the president of the Rotaract Club, a leader in the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Student Council subcommittee, a member of the Black History Month Planning Committee, and a true leader within our Women in STEM Honors Program, where she often serves as an amazing role model and inspiration to our younger students. Ariana brings poise and class and enthusiasm and love of learning to everything she does, such as setting out to create a new water filtration device that would allow people access to clean water in an affordable way with limited resources. It is my honor to present the Women in STEM Honors Leadership and Community Service Award to Ariana Wiggins Gamble. The Women in STEM Honors Excellence in Research Award is awarded each year to the senior honors member who has shown great originality and depth in their honors thesis research. This year, I'm very pleased to announce that we have two students who have shown true excellence in their potential for authentic scientific research. The first award goes to Savannah Carey. Savannah's research project examined the scenario in which a perpetrator of a criminal act drove a rental car during the crime, then returned the car to the rental company. Car rental companies follow different protocols in terms of cleaning returned cars. Savannah investigated the question, does the cleaning protocol used by rental car companies eliminate potential DNA evidence? This is an important question that criminals and crime scene responders often face. To address this question, she developed an experimental design which created mock scenarios of rental cars that were driven, cleaned using the general car cleaning protocol and swabbed for DNA, after which the DNA was used to create STR, short tandem repeat profiles, which could then be compared between different drivers to determine the major contributor of the vehicle samples, as well as whether DNA remained on the steering wheel following the cleaning protocol. Savannah also served as the vice president and then president of Delta Delta Epsilon, the Forensic Science Honor Society. Savannah, we are proud of you and I'm delighted to re present this Research Excellence Award to you. The second recipient of the WISH Research Excellence Award is Natalie Ramzuski. Natalie was interested in the fact that circadian rhythms control many of our body's cyclic processes and that many of the circadian synchronicity regulating pathways coincide with pathways that control anxiety behaviors. So she set out to determine whether alteration of circadian rhythms via environmental cues could potentially increase anxiety-related behaviors using Drosophila melanogaster as her model organism. Her research showed conclusive evidence for a potential link between circadian rhythm and anxiety pathways. Natalie, we are proud of you, and I'm delighted to present this Research Excellence Award to you. Our final award is the Dr. David Burmaster Excellence in Science Award. The Dr. David Burmaster Excellence in Science Award is given in memory of Dr. David Burmaster, a Harvard and MIT biophysicist and civil engineer whose pursuits were often on the cutting edge of science and technology. Dr. Burmaster has an avid, avid lifelong interest in aspiring the next generation to be excited by STEM and he was adept at exciting our students to engage in robotics competitions, and he was very generous in providing scholarships to our science students. 
The David Burmaster Excellence in Science Award is awarded this year to Amina Rizwan, who epitomizes Dr. Burmaster's love of science, his adeptness at critical thinking, and dedication to excellence in all of her pursuits. Currently, Amina is planning a research project focusing on SARS-CoV-2 virus inhibition in humans. She will study the selection of potential inhibitors that are competent to bind with the SARS-CoV-2 virus and prevents, prevent its penetration in human host cells. Congratulations, Amina. We are proud of you and you will receive $500, which, we, which will be put toward your tuition. Thank you for your attention.